So I don't know about you, I've been completely wowed by the brand new MacBook Pros. We have got now MacBook Pros with an M1 Pro and an M1 Max chipset inside it. So today, what I want to do is a comparison or a specs comparison of a MacBook Pro 16 inch with an M1 Pro versus a 16 inch MacBook Pro with the Intel i9 inside it. Hi guys, it's Matt here. So that's right, today I want to do a comparison of the brand new 16 inch MacBook Pro with an M1 Pro chip inside it versus the older Intel i9 MacBook Pro 16 inch. And I'm gonna do a comparison of the specs. Well, let's begin. So then, let's get started with this comparison. So on the left side, we've got the MacBook Pro 16 inch with the M1 Pro chipset inside, and on the right side, we've got the MacBook Pro 16 inch with an Intel i9 inside. So let's first of all do a comparison of the display type. So both of these have some great displays. However, the MacBook Pro 16 inch with the Intel i9 has an LED IPS technology, was the technology that Apple have been using for the last sort of seven, eight years now with their Retina displays. But the MacBook Pro 16 inch with the M1 Pro has that brand new mini LED ProMotion display, very similar to what we've got in the iPad Pro 12.9 inch model. And this is absolutely fantastic of a display. What I'll talk about a little bit more further into this comparison. But for the actual screen sizes themselves, they both are regarded as a 16 inch MacBook Pros. But the Intel i9 version exactly does have a 16 inch display, whereas the brand new MacBook Pro 16 inch actually has a 16.2 inch display, but it will still be referred to as the 16 inch MacBook. Then for screen resolution, there is some changes here, especially with that brand new mini LED panel in the MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro. So starting with that one, the resolution on that is 3456 by 2234, where the MacBook Pro 16 inch with the Intel i9 actually has a resolution of 3072 by 1920. So you can see there is some big upset in the resolution on that 16 inch. And the main reason to do with this is because of the pixels per inch. That has even changed as well. So the MacBook Pro 16 inch with the Intel i9 actually had 226 pixels per inch, what was phenomenal. But the MacBook Pro 16 inch with the M1 Pro now actually has 254 pixels per inch, what's even better. Then for the display refresh rate, there are some big changes here again. The MacBook Pro 16 inch with the Intel i9 has a 60 hertz refresh rate, and Apple have been using a 60 hertz refresh rate for many years. But this year, for the first time ever, because of that mini LED display, and also because it's known as the XDR Retina display, and also we've got that adaptive refresh rate, I could keep on going here. Basically, the MacBook Pro 16 inch M1 Pro has a 120 hertz refresh rate, but it can actually drop all the way down to 24 hertz. And because of this, you'll get some great battery saving inside it. For brightness and true tone, so the MacBook Pro 16 inch Intel i9 has a 500 nits display of uh, brightness, whereas the MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro has a thousand nits. And again, it's because of that brand new display and that brand new panel. In fact, that actual thousand nits can go even higher in some HDR content as well. But both of these monitors or both of these screens and both these MacBook Pros do also support true tone technology. Moving on to the processor and the CPU next. So with the MacBook Pro 16 inch, you actually had choices of between an Intel i7 and i9. And this was a ninth generation Intel processor inside it. The i7 had six cores and the i9 had eight cores. But with the MacBook Pro 16 inch M1 Pro, we actually have now got two choices again. We have the M1 Pro and the M1 Max. Now both of these are 10 core CPUs and they're absolutely phenomenal again. For the 16 inch MacBook Pro, both the M1 Pro and the M1 Max is made up of a 10 core CPU. And inside those cores, you have two efficiency cores and you also have eight performance cores. Also, I'll just quickly chuck out there as well that with the M1 Pro you can get up to a 16 core GPU whereas the MacBook Pro 16 inch with the Intel i9 had an AMD Radeon graphics card instead. For Geekbench scoring or Geekbench 5 multi-core scoring there is a massive difference here. 
You can see straight away that the MacBook Pro with the Intel i9 has a Geekbench score of 6,870, but the M1 Pro is like double this almost at 11,542, what is a massive increase in multi-core performance compared to the older Intel i9 from two years ago. For RAM amount choices, for the M1 Pro, you can choose up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. With the M1 Max, you can pick higher, but with just the M1 Pro, it's 32 gigabytes. But with the MacBook Pro 16 inch with the Intel i9, you've got the choice between 16 all the way up to 64 gigabytes of RAM. However, it would probably be more likely that even with just 16 gigabytes of RAM inside the MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro, it'll probably be better than than a Intel i9 with 64 gigabytes of RAM for quite a lot of tasks out there. For storage amounts, they're very, very similar in what you can choose from. Yes, the MacBook Pro 16 inch with the M1 Pro does actually have a faster storage inside it, but the amount of storage is exactly the same. And this is 512 gigabytes all the way to eight terabytes on both of the models. So just quickly guys, as we're going through the specs review, this channel has just got over 260,000 subscribers. What is absolutely amazing. So on this channel right now, I'm doing a giveaway and it is for this. It is for an iPhone 13 Pro Max in Sierra Blue and 128 gigabytes of storage inside. And I'm gonna be giving this away to one lucky subscriber when we get over 300,000 subscribers. And all I want to know in the comments below for your chance to win this iPhone 13 Pro Max in this international giveaway is put in the comments of what Apple gear you're planning to buy in the next year. Write it down in the comments below. And also at the same time, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell because when we get over 300,000 subscribers and only when we get over 300,000 subscribers, I'll be announcing who the winner is of this iPhone 13 Pro Max. Now, just a quick note I just want to add here, there might be some scammers out there who say you may have won a prize and to WhatsApp you. This is not me. As I said, when we get over 300,000 subscribers, that is when I'll be announcing who the winner is. Also at the same time, guys, if you're liking this video so far, please do press the like button. Right, let's go back to those specs reviews. Moving on to ports next of all, and there's some big changes here again. So the last generation MacBook Pros were all about USB-C ports, and the MacBook Pro 16 inch with that Intel i9 just had four USB-C ports. However, the brand new MacBook Pro 16 inch has three USB-C ports, and these are USB 4 and Thunderbolt 4 ports, and we've got the return of MagSafe back on this MacBook Pro. We've also got a HDMI 2.0 slot, and we've also got an SD X card slot as well on this MacBook Pro and it's really good to have those ports back. For operating system wise, both of these MacBook Pros can run the latest version of macOS Monterey. But I would point out that both of these MacBooks will be able to support many macOSs into the future, but the M1 Pro, being it's two years newer, and has also got that brand new Apple Silicon chipset inside it, will probably get quite a few more operating system updates compared to the Intel counterpart. For battery life though, there are some big changes again, and this is one of the biggest ones of all. And that is with the MacBook Pro 16 inch with the Intel i9, you've got up to 11 hours of battery life. Whereas now with the MacBook Pro 16 inch with the M1 Pro, you can get up to 21 hours. This again is almost double the amount of what you got on the previous generation, what's absolutely phenomenal. For charging wattage, and this is with those chargers, so with the MacBook Pro with the Intel i9, you had a USB-C charger, it was a 96 watt charger, but now what you do have, you have a MagSafe charger, it's a 140 watt charger for the MacBook Pro 16 inch, and it's also got some fast charging capabilities. For weight, there isn't actually that much inside it. So the MacBook Pro with the Intel i9 was 2 kilograms, whereas the MacBook Pro 16 inch with the M1 Pro is now 2.1 kilograms. For stereo speakers, both of them have this, but the MacBook Pro 16 inch does also have spatial audio inside. Again, for Bluetooth technology, both of these MacBook Pros run on the exact same Bluetooth technology, and that is Bluetooth 5.0. Then for starting prices, and uh, remember this is the starting price of a MacBook Pro M1 Pro and also the starting price 
of a MacBook Pro 16 inch with an Intel i7 this time. And these were the lowest baseline MacBook Pros that you can buy. So for the Intel i7 one, it starts at $2,399 US dollars and that will give you 512 gigabytes of storage. But the new MacBook Pro actually only comes in at $100 more than the previous generation. You've got to remember, you've also got things like inflation that's happened over the last sort of five years as well, and also newer technologies. But it now starts at $2,499 US dollars. And as you can see so far during this comparison, there's been a lot of upgrades on the brand new MacBook Pro 16 inch, and it's definitely worth that extra $100 more compared to the last generation. Then finally, for colours, there are two colours available for both of these machines, and that is a silver and a space grey option. So, will you be buying yourself a new MacBook Pro? So as you can see, the M1 Pro in that 16-inch MacBook Pro is absolutely incredible in comparison to the older Intel i9 MacBook Pro. Don't get me wrong, the Intel i9 MacBook Pro will still be a great machine to use for many years to come, but you can see the leaps and bounds what the Apple Silicon chipset can do compared to that older model. Well guys, it's time to wrap up this video, so if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button, and also at the same time as well, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons, please also do hit that subscribe button, followed by the notification bell. Until next time guys, I'll see you really soon.